right, so These Days by Jackson Brown. This is obviously the live acoustic version that I'm doing here, uh, which I think uh, is just so much better than the album version. Um, it came out on an album called For Every Man in 1973, and uh, that was like doing the research on this song. Like I found out stuff I didn't know. Like So many guys were on that album. Um, David Lindley, that was his debut with Jackson Brown and he wound up playing with him like forever and uh, David Crosby, Glenn Frey, Elton John, Don Henley, Joni Mitchell, Bonnie Raitt, uh, even David Page, the guy from Toto who was a session guy, Jim Keltner, I played drums, uh, you know he's famous for working with the Beatles solo stuff, Gary Malabar was a drummer with Steve Miller Band, um, Leland Sklar, Lee Sklar, great bass player, so there was a lot of really good people on that album. But anyways, uh, this version I think is superior, just him with his guitar. Okay, so let's get going on it. We're in the key of C here, but we've got a capo on the second fret. So when I first went to learn this, I thought, you know, that shouldn't be too bad to get that, right? But the problem is, um, you've got this chord here, and that's an F major 7. And you got to do a thumb over to get that low note right. Now, for me, and for a lot of people, I think that's really tough chord to get. I basically can't do it. I have a short hand, and uh, I mean, I could probably do it with a really thin neck, but since I don't have a, th a thin neck and my hand isn't about to get any bigger, when I do that chord, I snub out that that E note. You can sort of get it sometimes, but and that is. So Super crucial to the sound of the song. So what I've done is I've cheated on this one, and I've raised up my my E string. So I'm just going to do that now. Uh, remember when you're tuning, always take your, uh, your capo off, otherwise you'll you'll snap strings. Okay, so I'm going to tune that up to an F. Okay, so now what happens is. When you go to play that F major 7, you can play that <laughs> that open F note, right? And it just makes it possible to play without doing that thumb over, okay? The only adjustment, obviously, is when you go down. Instead of hitting the G note there, you're going to have to go down one fret throughout the whole song, okay? So that's the only adjustment you need to make, all right? So, I mean, if you can do a thumb over, just replace that note that I'm going to be playing with the G note here. All right, so we start out with the C chord, and then um, we're going to go this chord, which is basically a C over uh, a B bass, and then we're going to go A minor 7, and then we've got that, which is basically a C over a G, because remember that note now is a G for us, right? We've tuned up. And then that F major 7. Okay, so we've got that, 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 and this. And that's the essence of the whole song. Later on, we're going to do this chord here, which is um, D2, E2, and B1. And that's going to be, again, a C over a G. And sometimes we play that like this. We add the little finger up here to get uh, E3. And there's only one other chord, and that's like the F, but with your middle finger off, so you've got that, that second in there. Or the ninth, however you look at it. Okay, so one, two, And I guess I forgot when you do that lead up, you've got that which is like a G7. Okay. And that's about it. But of course, it's the picking that you have to get to make it sound good. So um, I'm just going to go over the pattern slowly here. Okay. So that's the pattern. All right. So we're going to start with a pinch of uh, the A string and the B string. 
And of course it's Travis picking, so the thumb is going to do this, right? Alright, so... picking hand here. Okay, so that's the basic pattern. I, mean, I can't name every single note, but always remember that the thumb never changes from that, right? I might change to the E string, but you're always going low, high, low, high, low, until later on where we actually have to change it up um, but we'll get to that in a second so it starts with the pinch right B string A string all right so you know start out real slow if you're new to this Gradually, you want to speed that up. And you'll recognize this pattern. It's in a million songs, right? It kind of reminds me of that old Gordon Lightfoot song, Talking in Your Sleep. something like that, but the pattern is the same, right? Now sometimes he's going to hit this high E string, so it'll be that first one, when instead of pinching on the B in the A, you pinch on the E in the A. You know, if you're going to learn this song, I would just practice that until you can do that consistently. It's not really worth getting into the rest of it, right? Uh, because it'll just mess you up. Okay, so that's it. And then uh, the basic bulk of the song is this. Okay, so what we're doing there is we're just walking down with that bass. And if we were to isolate the thumb, it would sound like this. Okay, so just, that's the C over B, right? And then, that, like I said, that's a little bit awkward, but it's very doable. fretted on uh, D3. And again, you know, before you move on to putting the fingers in there, I would practice that. Right? And then, when you get around to putting the fingers in, you're going to do this. Actually, in the verse when he sings, he doesn't usually hit that high E. Maybe, maybe the first time. Right? So it's the same, same picking pattern. You're just moving the bass until you get to that F major 7. And obviously, you're on the open E and the D instead of the, the A string and the D string, right? the intro he's hitting that that high E every time and then when the singing starts seems to be mostly hitting that C note on uh, B2 okay and then there's a couple of licks that he throws in too so the first one is this So 
all we're doing there is the same thing. And then when we get to the F major 7, we're going to do this. These licks are, you know, they're almost impossible to break down note by note by note by note because it would be here forever. Um, but if you can just sort of get the feel of it, once you get the feel of that Travis picking, these licks will be, they'll just fall into place. Um, <laughs> it's hard to believe at first, I know, but uh, after you play it a while, they will. Okay, so... That's the first look. The second look sounds like this. Okay, so it's you hit the F major seven. Right? With the fingers, and the whole time, remember the thumb is just Travis picking, right? So. So those are the two licks there. And he throws those in. He throws in other licks too, but these are two that I sort of picked out. And you can put those in any time you want. Like I said, that's part of the deal that's really free-floating, right? Okay, so once we're in the verse... Um, now this next section is going to go to this chord here, which we talked about earlier, right? That's your... Uh, C over G But the trick here is the picking the, the Travis reverses all right, so this is really really confusing and very very tough to get I know it was for me. I'm I was like lis listening to you know, and I'm thinking oh, yeah it's Travis picking you know, no problem. I know that stuff No problem, no problem And then I figured he'd just go the Travis from low to high, right? But he doesn't, he reverses it, so he goes. Okay, so you're going backwards, right? You're just going to go from the high to the low. And you're going to throw those fingers in too. Um, count on that is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right. Now that'll be very tough for a lot of guys to get. You'll have to really kind of get your head around that. Um, okay. So we finish it off by going like this. So we've got the third finger right so we're here and we're pinching the D and the G there right? and then we're gonna go to this F major 7 again so that whole bit would sound like this from the F major 7 on that would be one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, and then the F major seven. Now that's a, a, a point in the song where he's so flexible there, right? He doesn't do that exactly the same. Okay, that, what I just showed you is that would be the, the strict way of doing it, but he will more likely go like this.
he'll just extend that to however he wants it, you know? Okay, so remember to stay flexible there. Okay, so let's do the whole deal from when the singing starts. Okay, so... again. Reverse. This again. Alright, then. And we just repeat everything. Okay, so that's the bulk of it right there. And when I hit that chord, I'm doing G, B, and E with my three fingers as well as, you know, hitting that D, a string. In the picking there, you know, sometimes he'll pick all of it like this. Other times he'll just go, you know, just picking whatever is kind of fitting at the time, whatever feels comfortable. Okay, so nothing's really specific there. Right? So, and then we get into this little sort of guitar break, and that basically is just like a Through, we're gonna focus on this G note here. Okay, so we're right. now we get it back into this, but this time we're gonna hold that G note up there, right? So right, so from here. where it's really loose, right? You can hold that. As long as you want. And then it's going to break out into this. Okay. Open G and um, B1, the C note. And we're going to reverse the pick back to low high. Okay, so we're going from high. Right, high, low, high, low. And then we're going to go low, high again. And we've got this like. from here and back to this chord and again now we're going to reverse the pick again right <laughs> Very confusing. This is a difficult song, okay? Difficult song. You have to really hang in there to get this. So.
So that's pretty well it. Those are all the parts. Um, like I said, it's a difficult song, right? It sounds really easy at first. Um, but of course, detuning that or uptuning that low E to the F will really make it possible for people who can't do the thumb wobbles. But really, the trickiest part will be when you reverse pick, right? When you reverse the Travis right here. in the guitar solo section it kind of goes back and forth a bunch of times so we're So that's it for these days. Um, hopefully that'll be enough to, um, you know, help you get through it. Uh, very, very tough song because of that reversing Travis Pitt. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this. I hope uh, you enjoy playing this song. It's an awesome song. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.